Welcome to day 284 of our BU 365 day challenge to do one thing every day that improves us in some way. Today we're talking about, so let's talk about something known as the connection paradox. We're going to spend a couple of weeks on paradoxes this month and then we're going to run through the SOAP framework on an area or aspect of your life that's most important to you right now. We've had a chance to go through as part of this challenge since we're on day 284 already each of the different nine areas of the life framework that I use to kind of take the chaos out of my life and add a little bit of, you know, or the fantasy of control in my life. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution, confidence, and communication I added last year to my personal framework for my life. And we spent a month on each one of these and we went through the SOM framework with a specific challenge or something that we wanted to improve in each of those areas. And this month, after we're done with all these paradoxes, we are going to talk about, we're going to pick one area and we're going to find one thing to apply the SOAP framework to again, because it's such a powerful tool. I want to make sure that we really have it in our toolboxes by the end of this year. And if pretty much, I think we have it already, but I want to make sure we continue to reinforce it every month. So today, still on paradoxes, uh, found a list of 20 paradoxes, which I think are fascinating. I'm fascinated by language and words and communication and what things mean. So I learned a long time ago that when I was communicating, what I thought I was saying wasn't necessarily what the other person was hearing. And so I got really fascinated with language and learning and words and how to say things better. So connection uh, paradox and paradoxes are something that sounds kind of absurd or ridiculous on the surface, but when you think about it a little bit, and sometimes a lot, but most times just a little bit, you're like, oh my gosh, that's absolutely true. Well, today's is about how connected we are as human beings. And it says that the more connected we get, the more isolated that we feel. I think, it, let, me, let me grab my magnifying glass and verify that I said that right. The more connected we get, the more isolated we feel. Now, I think a lot of this has to do with the pandemic, but even before the pandemic, social media was taking over pretty much everybody's life. I remember we'd go out to dinner and you'd look around at the tables. And usually when you go out to dinner, it's a social occasion or it's a group getting together and reconnecting, physically connecting and chatting with another, one another, looking one another in the eye and having conversations. Yet I would look around the restaurant and almost every person in the restaurant would be staring at their mobile phone. Uh, so now when I go out, I try to purposefully put my cell phone away and not take it out uh, unless I'm expecting an important call or something. I put it away and I make sure that I'm really connecting with the person I'm with because we can feel isolated and alone even in a crowded room. And I think social media, they've done studies and a recent study said that a 40, 48% of people responded that they only have one confidant. Uh, and 25 years ago, this similar study was done and the average person had three confidants. So uh, social media has made us more connected actually in terms of socially contacting and talking with and meeting different people and new people, yet it's made people feel more lonely and more isolated. I never had FOMO until I actually got more active on the internet, uh, fear of missing out. I never, because we weren't seeing everybody else's life. You'd see a person here and a person there that you physically heard about or knew about that was doing something that made you a little jealous, but you didn't see constant streams of millions of people's fantastical lives. And then we have to remember that what we see on social media isn't the whole picture. It's like watching a, a sitcom on television. You don't see everything that happens in the life. It's just snippets of what's important to the story that's being presented. Many people are master storytellers when it comes to uh, depicting themselves in the online world. So we need to keep that in mind and never compare our lives to anyone else, only to ourselves. And then we feel less isolated. So our action item today is to actually go out and connect with another human being. Maybe just have a conversation. We've got the, uh, we're building a new deck on the house finally after the storms last year. And we've got the inspector coming this morning in actually about 20 minutes, so I have to hurry up and talk, uh, to 
inspect the deck. So I'm going to make sure that I go out and I actually engage with this person. One-on-one, -on -one, human beings connecting. Since the pandemic, it's, it's actually, to me, a joy to connect with people because we uh, weren't able to do that for so long. And great, yeah, we connect with our family. I live with my family, so I connected with them. But it's not the same as grown-up interaction and connecting with other human beings. People that think differently than us. It's really fun. So, curious, do you feel like <clears throat> the more you connect, the more you're connected with different social media platforms and different uh, tools for communicating, texting and things, do you feel less or do you feel more isolated? Do you feel more isolated as you become more connected? I have found from a business standpoint, uh, my favorite way to connect with people and make a connection is to attend events and go to events and hold events and physically get together with people and meet them. We've done so much over the last couple of years through technologies like Zoom that it's actually delightful when we get to physically meet one another. And that instantly takes away the isolation. Now, I do think that social media has made it easier to connect with people. And then when you get to actually connect with them physically and meet them in person, you, you have a bond and a relationship already established. It just goes to a whole other level when we get to actually physically connect with people. All right, have an awesome day. If I can help you in any way, hit me up. Otherwise, we will be talking about the fail paradox tomorrow. Have an awesome day. Bye. Go connect with somebody.